All right, guys, here we are at the turnouts um, table for my uh, panel. Um, and as you can see, first thing I want to point out is there's a few different options on what it can show you because I do have more than one DCC system hooked up to the computer and JMRI. There's um, all, which obviously would show you all, and ZE. And as you can see, I have no turnouts here in uh, NCE land. And then LocoNet. And then internal, which again, there's nothing. So just going to all because it doesn't make a difference. You can see that I have, um, these are turnouts and these are signal heads. So first, I'm just going to talk about the turnouts. I just did switch 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. These are actually, I just um, took the addresses out of the manual right here, which is, uh, camera's not going to like me. As you can see, I can do slow motion turnout switch machine addresses. I have an abort ID of 2, so switches 9 through 16. So that's what those are. And as you just saw in the um, panel, I can throw them. Now, I don't have any decoders or um, circuitron switch machines. So theoretically, yeah, I could um, put it in internal. But I just figured, what the heck, might as well just pre-program it into LocoNet if I decide to do so. So to add a turnout, there's this cool little button at the bottom that says Add. And I want to show you this because when you have more than one system, it's going to ask you, okay, cool, so what system do you want me to uh, send this information to? So those of you who already have an AIU-01 or um, an MRC system or any other system that can plug into um, JMRI and you have a separate, you know, Digitrack system for the signals, you can still use your existing system. So I can choose NCE, I choose the hardware address 123 because this is bogus, I don't have anything for NCE, and then I could just do test. And then I click OK. And then nothing happens. Well, not quite. I go here, I go to the NCE part, and boom, there it is, command unknown. Well, I can throw, clo and th close and throw it, excuse me. So that's kind of how, just to show you that yes, you can have two systems together in a JMRI, it will meld them, which is really cool. Now going to signal heads, you will see I have a bunch of, well, signal heads. And to um, add these, I just go to add, same as before. And then this time, the first thing it wants me to choose is, well, what's this new signal head? There's double output, there's whatever the heck that is, there's uh, quad output, all these different little options. Well, I have an SE8C for aspect board, so I'm going to click that. And it's going to be like, okay, cool. Um, I already have it, because I already recorded this once, um, it's already username test, and I can create new or just use existing. Using existing, that's kind of what I have. Generally, you're probably going to create new. And then once again, it'll ask you, do you want it NCE, do you want it local net, or do you just want it internal on JMRI? Well, I'll just do, excuse me, I'll just do local net. And I'll just do two, three, four, or actually just to be safe, uh, one, two, three. And then the next number, the way that I'll explain how the board works, the next turnout number is um, will be one, two, four. And then I just click OK. And then I can go ahead and close this. And as you can see, test is right here. And then while I'm here, I'll just want to, you know, show you that you can change the state of the signal head right here from dark to red, to yellow, to green, flashing red, flashing yellow, flashing green, and I'll exp and then dark. And I'll explain some of the differences on what you see on the screen here and what the signal actually does. But uh, I will go back to the um, layout here, and I'll keep 
the uh, signal head table back in the background here. One thing I should note is you need to enter the signal head in the signal head table before you can go ahead and put it on the layout. Now the way this works is the way you add things is you click one of these. So every time I wanted a right hand switch I'd click that and then click while I hold the shift button. Well this time I want to do a signal head. And, well, I have a lot of signal heads. So, well, okay, which one do I want? Well, I called it test. So I will type in T-E-S-T -E for test. I believe we all know how to spell that. And then I'll zoom out here. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll click anywhere old here. I'll hold down the shift key and I'll click. And hey, look at that. I've now added the signal head test. And voila, if I scroll over it, test. And I can also control the state of the signal on the panel, which is really nice. There's red, there's yellow, green, and the other fun little options. So that is how um, I added a signal head to the layout.